guys love and light. Checking the love energy. This can be masculine or feminine. You guys place it on whatever side you need to. Ooh, okay. Receptivity. Oh, shit. Hathor. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Now, you guys may have somebody that wants to come in your life and help y'all out. Okay? Somebody wants to come in your life and give you some good shit. Someone wants to come in your life and say, you know what? You did this for me, so you know what? I'm going to double back, and I'm going to do this and that for you. How about that? Beautiful energy. Okay? This is someone that is sure of themselves. Someone that is sure of their emotions as well. Let's see what's going on here. What do I need to know for you kids? What do I need to know for okay some of you you need to not be giving anybody nothing if they ain't giving your ass nothing how about that okay now we have the king of cups energy here okay this is libra scorpio energy sincere someone that avoids conflict they're wise you know they're open-hearted okay um they're kind to people this is a compassionate person a sympathetic person could be someone that's married Okay, someone that's a wife or a father or what have you, whatever it is here, pretty faithful, pretty generous, but they don't really put all their emotions out there. Okay, may um, may not tell you everything right away, may take their time giving you their emotions. Okay, I have the hanging man. Okay, this, this is the energy um, of Pisces. Um, there may be some stagnation, okay, with this. Um, you may have a person around you, um, or this is you to where this, nothing is moving the way that you want it to, or nothing is going right now. You may be in a waiting period. Okay. Because spirit wants you to see everything that it is that you need to see. Okay. This is why we're forced to do it. This is a delay, uh, for your best interests. Surrender to the greater will. Okay. This is time to let go of attachments to things, places, you know, um, uh, people, right? Some of you may be in a relationship that you're not happy with and you're being forced to look at it from a different direction. Some of you may feel trapped, may feel stuck, may feel like you can't take another step, right? Feel like you can't release yourself. You feel like you're being held or, or bound in a way. Some of you may feel like you know an ex may be holding on to you some of you may be holding on to an ex some of you may not know how to let go okay but you guys are feeling really uncertain right now somebody here i got a page of cups now this is the beginning right some of you if you don't want to be pregnant you may want to make sure that you don't because this is also a baby card for me Okay, now some of you may get someone that wants to offer you some love. Okay, and this is where the res uh, reciprocity comes in. Okay, I feel like you know the King of Cups energy could be you, Ophiuchus. Okay, you guys are just stagnant right now because you're not okay. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me exactly what's going on here. Out of everyone that's offering you something, okay. What you're seeing out here is not leveling up to a pile of shit. <laughs> oh, quality is off in a dating world. And y'all looking at people like, really? Really? For real? You know? Like, no, this can't be what, what I got to choose from. So you guys... Put a halt on it, okay? Um, and yes, you guys have been trying to manifest someone into your life and trying to get things the way that you want them to be. But Spirit has put a halt on it, a hold, so that you, okay, can see things from the perspective that you need to so that you can continue clearing and helping yourself because you guys are doing the work to go forward in your life. Spirit, you know, some of you, um, you know, you've you've been taking your time to heal yourself properly, been going through every little bit of 
of, of, of emotion that you need to bring up and heal. And this is a person that's going to come toward you. Page of Cups energy. You may get a message from this person. You may have met this person in the summer or you may meet this person in the summer. Okay? You may get a message of emotions from someone. Okay? This person is really sensitive. You may not see this part of this person all the time. It may be a part of this person where they don't like to share this energy with a lot of people. Okay? Some of you, um, you may have gotten a message from spirit that you were going to hear from this person as well. Okay? If you haven't heard from this person, you're going to be hearing from this person. This person is going to tell you that they have a crush on you. This may move into an engagement of some sort of loyalty between the two of you okay like i said if someone doesn't want to get pregnant here or if you're still able to have babies or make babies be mindful okay but you're definitely going to get a message from this person give me one more card spirit oh oh shit all these cards fell Whew. okay yeah oh shit yeah you're going to get a message from this person and then you're going to get, oh God, then you have someone around you. Oh, wait a minute. Let me put these out. Because it just got a different collective of, of, a, of another message here. I love tarot. You never know what you're going to get. These are a lot of damn cards, y'all. Oh my goodness gracious, spirit for real? <laughs> they like, yup. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, really, Jax? My son is in the room with me making all types of noise. All right, guys. This is what I'm doing here. All right. So he's up here. Okay. Now, I'm telling y'all about somebody that's coming at you with a little bit of uh, trying to offer some reciprocity. But what I didn't know was this motherfucker coming at you because he feel shitty by how he treated you in the first place with the five of cups. Okay. Then this is somebody from your past. Well, I don't like that energy. <laughs> Scorpio, right? Great floss right uh despair um someone walked away here this is you know um you know they're mourning they're feeling heartbreak now because you might have walked away from them or they could have walked away from you with eight of cups five of cups energy is uh scorpio energy eight of cups energy is pisces energy right this could be someone that you um that you've known for a long time you can have ch uh, children with this person you could have known them since you were a child, adolescent years. Um, you guys get along well, okay? I have an emotional bond here, Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. You guys may have had to go through an emotional healing period after this person, but now this person is feeling nostalgic and wants to renew something with you. Knight of Swords, they want to come in quick, okay? They want to come in towards the Gemini energy, and they want to fight for you. Right. They want to show you they want to be assertive. They want to be direct. Right. They want to do impulsive shit. OK. Um, you know, they determine and they want to show you that they're determined. Eight of Wands energy here is Sagittarius energy. OK. Uh, fast moving changes. Right. They want to do this. They want to rush in. They want to be hasty. Um, you know, this person may come in around the next holiday or you could have met this person around a holiday. A holiday may be significant, um, having to do with you guys' love affair, take it how it resonates for you, but they want to put in some hard work here. Okay. They're, they're a little bit obsessed with you. Okay. Um, they may not be telling you that. Um, but some of you may have met this person while you were traveling. Now they want to take this in a different direction. They want to move the obstacles with this cancer card. Right? They may be telling you they want to be honest. They want to be determined. They want to make this work with you. Okay? They want to remove the obstacles. They, they're, they're coming back to you because they're going after what they want. This is what they want. Right? They're balancing their heart and their mind. They're fixing themselves. Right? To, to come back to you and give you the relationship that you deserve. Yeah, okay? Mm-hmm. 
For some of you, if you have anxiety, you need some help. Okay, I'm just telling you now, it's okay. I go to counseling myself, right? Some of you, you need to not let a past relationship impact your life going forward because we can't look backward. We got to go forward. Um, for others of you, you need to let go of the pain and move forward um, because you haven't been cutting it loose the way that you need to. Some of you are on a spiritual journey as well. You got the full card where you're saying, where spirit is saying you need to take a leap of faith. You may have Aries in your chart or Aries around you. Okay. You need to keep pushing. Keep pushing with the nine of wands. This is you being steadfast. Sagittarius energy. You know, this is you fighting. Feeling like you're going to be persistent. Doing what you need to do, right? Feeling like your energy is low, but you, you're persevering. Going forward, right? You may be juggling a lot of shit right now. Maybe juggling some people. I understand, right? I, for those out here in this dating pool with this Capricorn energy, right? But somebody's going to come in with this Ace of Cups, and they're going to offer you some love, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, right? This is a new connection, okay? Somebody can have this in their chart. This is someone that's offering you something and wants to fix a relationship. This also could be a new relationship, right? For you guys that want new, 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 like me, right? But this is an emotional happiness. This For, for those that don't want to have kids, if you are still within baby-making years, like I said, we got Page of Cups and we got Ace of Cups. Both of these are babies for me, so be mindful, okay? Um, we have Seven of Cups. Okay, you may have many options in, in that you're going to be able to choose from when this person comes, right? But when you decide who it is, you guys are going to work towards things. You're going to do what you need to do. You're going to put in the work with the Eight of Pentacles card, okay? So uh, I think that you guys are going to work together well. We have Scorpio energy here with the Seven of Cups. This person... <laughs> Whoever they are, they may be a little dreamy. They may look at you and, and, and be daydreaming or think about you and daydream. You may be daydreaming about this person, but Eight of Pentacles is working towards a goal, honing your talent, okay? Becoming um, experts on each other. Virgo energy. This is financial security, achieving goals, you know? Um, if this is a job for you guys, you're learning new skills, you're changing your profession, you're doing what it is you need to do. Okay, so yeah, this is what I'm seeing. I'm leaving it here. This is a lot of damn cards, okay? But receptivity is what you guys are after. If they're not coming and giving you what you need, okay, then you guys are not biting, all right? I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. And you guys take care.